briefs, we now need to talk about these two charges. First one is 2011 CR 139. It's what I'm going to call a Burger King case. It says you knowingly cause physical harm to property. What did you do? Um, I would honestly don't remember too much of that night. I was highly intoxicated. Um, I have reviewed, seen the cat videotape from the police department, and, um, and yes, I broke in and set, set it on fire. Okay, so you have no independent memory of anything? Bits and pieces, not, I mean, I don't remember setting the fire. I don't remember why I broke in, where I broke in at. But you've looked over the police reports with Mr. Sass, the discovery? I have, Your Honor. And you understand you're pleading guilty to knowingly causing physical harm to property owned by Burger King. 1700 Tiffin Avenue, property that they used in their business, trade, <coughs> occupation, whatever you want to call it. In other words, they used the property to, to do business out of it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And that the amount of the physical harm was in excess of $100,000. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Schwerman, you satisfied with the court's plea inquiry? Yes, sir. Let's move on to the, what I'm going to call the Wendy's case. Same day, apparently, June 6, 2011. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Wendy's as at 500 Tiffin Avenue. So that's um, in the city of Finley and in Hancock County. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, what happened at Wendy's? I actually had no recollection of that at all. Okay. Well, you're pleading guilty to knowingly causing physical harm to the property. So you're pleading guilty to knowingly doing something that you're telling me that you don't have any recollection of. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I just want to clear in the record here. Business trade occupation, in other words, Wendy's used that as a business location. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. And that the amount of physical harm involved was in excess of $100,000. Do you understand? Yes, 